the final mixed team relay event of the 2022 World Triathlon Championship Series took place in Hamburg in northern Germany. As ever, thousands of spectators lined the route in this iconic city, 18 nations battling for glory. France had been world champions a fortnight earlier. This was a much changed team, however. It looked like we might get a small breakaway on the bike in the first leg. That wasn't the case in the end. A dozen men came into T1. There was a problem for Andreas Carlsen. He was on the deck, the Swede. Up front, though, it was Studer of Switzerland and Hayden Wild of New Zealand, who'd won gold in the individual race the previous day, that handed over to their respective women. Nicole van der Kay for the Kiwis and Katia Schaar of Switzerland. There was a problem, though, for the Germans, and it was Lisa Tersch penalised 10 seconds for being overly aggressive in the water, a class with Yuko Takahashi. The first of two penalties the Germans would incur. More of that later. Up front, though, we had a group of uh, around about eight away on the bikes. And on the run, it was Bragmeier who had the uh, early advantage, the Hungarians. But in the end, the great British, British team were first away. Fantastic dive from Priester of Germany as they went round the two boys. Just a 300 metre swim. And as they came out of the water, there were six or seven potentially that were going to get away on the bike, including Great Britain, Hungary, Germany. The one man that was struggling was Scott Steenberg of Denmark. There he is. Just couldn't live with the pace. It was a huge problem for Priester. That was the second German penalty. Couldn't get out of his shoes. He came in too quickly and didn't dismount before the line. Up front, though, a fabulous run from Matt Hauser of Australia, the man who'd taken silver behind Wild 24 hours earlier, and he handed over to Natalie Van Couverden. A healthy lead. Kate Woff for Great Britain was in second place, and now a Lindemann of Germany in third at that point. But the German made up a lot of ground in the water. Still a 10-second advantage for the Australian. And she was away first on the bike. The advantage, though, that uh, Woff and Lindemann had were 2-1, to one, effectively, on the bike, and they would close down the gap on the leader. So they rode as a three for the final lap. All three had reasonable transitions, but the key was Lindemann's potential 20-second penalty. The two 10-second penalties added together. Woff was doing a great job, the 23-year-old, of staying with the German, who took both penalties simultaneously on the second lap, leaving Woff clear with a run to the line for gold. It also meant that Vancouver would run past Lindemann in the penalty box. Huge celebrations for the young British team, and Vancouver coming home to secure silver for Team Australia. Lindemann doing extremely well to still get her nation on the podium despite serving that double penalty. Check on the final result. Creditable fourth for the Swiss, followed by New Zealand and Hungary. France way behind the world champions. We're a young team. We might not be the A team, but certainly the future is looking bright for British Traplon. <laughs> I'd say that's true. Kay, you're obviously aware that there was a penalty coming for Laura. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I was aware, so I just tried to stick with her, and I knew she would have to pull off at some point. But yeah, I felt really, really good today, so I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so happy for us all. In second place. Great effort for Team Germany with that 20-second penalty to still get on the podium on home soil. Second place for Team Australia. Two medals for them after Hazard second yesterday. But Britain, the champions here in 2022.